when you're selecting fish, you need to make up your mind what you want to do to this fish. You want to buy this fish, you go to Koi Show. You want to buy this fish, you stay nice and bonsai, stay nice all the time because your, your pond is small. Or you want to buy this fish to go home to grow large. Okay? Our experience, anybody comes in a lot, they look at a big fish because we all fascinate something really big. If an MFL was a bunch of Lolo guy or the basketball NBA is a bunch of Lolo kids, nobody gonna watch, right? Just like Japanese watch sumo. I'm not quite sure the, the sports about the sumo, but I do like to see two big guys bend into each other kind of fun. <laughs> so the same token, well, we all like to have a large fish. You probably don't want to admit it, but I'm sure you like bigger fish. So in order to get a fish big, two ways. You grow your own or you buy a big fish. Expensive to buy a big fish. As much as we love a big fish, but it's too expensive to buy. So now, plan B, we try to pick some fish will grow and grow to large fish. In order to grow, the fish will grow large. There are few things that fish have to possess, besides the bloodline, right? You can see some family, you get one brother hunt, you know, six five, another brother five five. So from the same gene, doesn't mean all grow big. What I'm trying to say, all the famous line like Sakai, Dainichi, summer fish, they not necessarily all grow big. But individual fish that you select will make a difference. How we know the fish will grow big? Number one, the fish had to have a big mouth, big head, tall body, strong tail joint. God designed it that way, not us, right? Strong tail joint, the section right before the tail, the meat part. It's not like the horse part, the, the, the swim speed. Faster they get to the food with a bigger mouth to swallow more each time. They're gonna grow big, naturally designed that way. If you find something really small, triangle head, tight, short body, skinny body, when they grow large, they maybe grow long and skinny, they're not gonna fill it up. You wanna have a body height to get that fish filled up. And then you wanna have a bigger head, otherwise like Moza Chagoy, body this big, has to that little. Imagine that you have some, you see some, once in a while you see some fat dog. The little tiny head with a big body. That wouldn't look good. You gotta have a large enough head to compensate. Say if you buy a German Shepherd puppy, you want a little puppy with a big head, big ear, big pup. Let the body catch up with it. You don't want to get a little, fit, little dog and then next thing the body grow, the head stay the same. That wouldn't look good. And then in order to, to, to grow your fish, of course, your pond, your hardware. Nobody have a million gallon pond or 50,000 gallon pond. We all wish we do. But if you have a smaller pond, you can do for your fishes at your filter. Okay? A lot of time you buy a filter, a, a pressure sample type, they tell you this filter will do 50,000 gallon or 10,000 or 5,000, whatever. <laughs> when they say that, I know this guy is not a koi keeper. Because in the same amount of water, how do you know how many fish you put in, right? So you feel it's always oversized. Say if you have a 5,000 gallon, you need to buy yourself a 20,000 gallon model. Because in their calculation is every filter media spread out with how many square inch. So totally how many square feet will support how much bacteria. But they forgot how many fish you're going to put in there. So whatever they say usually don't work, you just time three, time four and then you know the size, is, the size you need to get. The reason you need a big filter is because the, the way we grow fish, we grow fast. Because I believe just like little kids, if they don't grow to 15, 18 years old, they ain't growing. If they do grow, that's a miracle. Right? I'm, I don't remember I grow any after 18. I, I wish I grow a little more. Right? So if you want to fish grow, usually the first year grow 8 to 10 inch is average from one to two years old, like those one years old. Two to three years old, if you can grow four to six inches, you're doing very well. And then on three to four, so slow down, slow down, and then you don't grow in. After five, six years, you really grow. Or oh, they do stretch, they stretch maybe half inch, one inch a year. So since we want to grow very fast, that means we're going to feed a lot, right? We do the test, we do minimum, minimum 3% body weight daily. Daily, not monthly, weekly, or yearly. We do daily, which means if you have a 12 inch fish, it's about one pound. If you have a 100 fish that size, you need to feed three pounds a day. So don't be shy to feed a fish if your filter is big enough. But if your filter is not big enough, we go to plan B. We go slower, 
with a better quality food and they have a better condition where you go to show every week of the year. Okay. So if you want to grow fish fast, we suggest minimum 3% body weight and divide it up percent of food to many, many star, many, many feeding times. We all work, right? Uh, most people, if you have a job, you should be very glad in this time of the year. But if you work, you cannot be home feeding your fish. Andy, how can I feed in 12 times? Automatic feeder is a very cheap investment. When you work, he will continue to feed your fish as a you instructor, whatever program you set up. Right? They're a lot better than we do. When we go to the pond, you're supposed to feed two handful, but they look hungry, you give it two more, still look hungry, pretty soon you have a drop value. Now fish ain't gonna grow this way when they start grow this way. So keep in mind, if they start dropping belly, that fish ain't gonna do worse at doing the growing. A lot of time we buy fish from Japanese breeder. That fish look very beautiful. Everything you think is perfect. That fish, just in picture, that fish grow bigger, that gonna win grand champion. But Japanese breeder refuse to grow for you in the mud pond. For the simple fact, the belly start dropping. So now it won't do much good for growing. Okay, so growing has to be nice and tight, nice and tight body to grow. For growing fish, another thing is you need to have a strong current because most of our ponds are small. When they just eat, sitting there, do nothing, they ain't growing. But when you have a current pushing it, just like a stationary bike, they want to hold in the same position, they have to swing. More exercise, hungrier, they eat more. More move around, more digestion, less waste come out. Less waste come out means your water quality is higher. So you go on the right track. Okay? You also need a strong oxygen. An outdoor air pound, $180, $200 is a good investment. Especially summertime when it's warm and no air movement. Stronger the oxygen inside the water means fish can use to break down the healthy metabolism to, give, to digest their system. Also means you got more bacteria into your filter for your bacteria to work. It's always winning. And number three, you need a fresh water dripping. Okay? You never change water. You need it. I tell everyone you need to change water 10% a day, but you never change water, so everybody confused. What I try to say, you don't want to drain your pond six inches down. And then have a garden hose shooting a six inch fuel right back up. Never ever. If you forgot to turn the water off, your fish are gonna get killed. We have a lot of people doing that. Right? So that's the number one you know. So how are you gonna change your water but you don't change your water? The way we suggest take the garden hose to top your waterfall or your settling tank or by your skimmer. You need a physics to wash that water. If it's stuck on, you know it's stuck on, right? So water people, for example, if you have five sun gallon per hour pump, pump to your waterfall. And then you have a whole spit fast strip, say 10 gallons a minute. But the water been diluted. Right? The tap water with your pond water was agitated through the waterfall with the sunlight. Most of the current disappeared. So you never worry about you have to put chemical. By doing that, your water your pond level raise up. So what do you do? You drain the worst water. Bottom your filter, your settling tank, drain them out. But right now because drought, we are in California. We have a drought. We already have what? Twenty percent less than last year, snowpack. So what we do, get yourself a sun pump. Home Depot has some pump with a corrugated swimming pool hose. Drop your sun pump on the bottom. Use that to water your grass, your shrub, your plant, your flower, whatever you have. So now you don't need to buy fertilizer because that's a, the best organic fertilizer for you. Okay? So there's a lot of ways you can say, well, but you have to change your water. A lot of times, when you have a hose, say you drain a four inch down, you put a hose in there, fill water. People think, I just put decor. They told me you put a decor, m quill, they will suck that chlorine right away. Yes, they will, even in st still water. But when you put it in, the water shoot them out, the new coming water from the hose, there's nothing in it. Only chlorine or chromium, whatever your city provides. Now your fish come in investigate because of the current, because of different chemical, different chemistry comes in, different temperature. Your fish come in investigate, what they do? They're gonna suck in all the chlorine water, the gill get burned. By the time they go away, if you're sorry for themselves, you're gonna sorry for yourself.